In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate the feast day of Saints Philip and St. James, both apostles, pillars of the Church. And so we ask for their intercession within our lives today. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us each year with the feast day of the Apostles Philip and James, grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received, and in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved, if you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I hand it on to you is of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the Twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. The word of the Lord. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. message. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the way, the truth, and the life, says the Lord. Philip, whoever has seen me, has seen the Father. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. This time after Easter, when, or during the Easter season, when we are reading from the Gospel of John, and we're reading almost every single day about how Jesus is in the Father and the Father is in the Son, and we're hearing that over and over again. It reminds me of an event in my life when I was at home, coming home from the seminary, and the Jehovah's Witness knocked on the door. And we sat down and talked for a long time. And we spoke specifically on the theology of the Trinity. Because the Jehovah's Witness, even though they do profess Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, it's not in the same way that Catholics do or Christians. They don't believe in the Trinity entirely. And there is a disparity between they believe that God the Father is God, but then God the Son, Jesus, is not truly God. And so I, I just said, all you have to do is look at the Gospel of John, just flip a page, play some Bible roulette, and you'll find, you'll find a, a section where it says, the Father is in me and I am in the Father, and explaining the consubstantial union between the Father and the Son. And so... So that, that's just a tangent that oh, whenever we go through this in the Easter season reminds me of that time. But it, it also calls us deeper into that understanding of who Jesus is. That when, even when we receive the Eucharist, we receive the fullness of God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit in union together. And Today we celebrate the feast days of Saints Philip and James. And in the Gospel we have this paradigm of all the apostles kind of just not getting it, right? 
They, they keep on asking Jesus questions. Even after Jesus had said, you know, I am in the Father and the Father is in me, then Philip just said, Jesus, just please show us the Father already. <laughs> right? And there's a, that paradigm of the apostles just not getting it. But then, and then Jesus, you can even hear some of the frustration that's in Jesus' voice. I have already told you that when you see me, you see the Father. And uh, we see later on how in the Acts of the Apostles, as well as in other New Testament readings following the Gospels, that the Apostles then now understand. We see a very different Philip in the Acts of the Apostles when he approaches that caravan with the Ethiopian eunuch, right? And all of a sudden he is whisked away by the Holy Spirit to be able to go evangelize and then to preach. We see a very different Philip. We see a very different James in the Acts of the Apostles when he is, he is the bishop that is in charge of Jerusalem and convening over the very first council of the church. We see how, they, how, the, how the Holy Spirit had filled them up with courage, with an understanding. And so for us, too, sometimes we can be like the apostles in the gospel, sometimes just not getting it. And that's okay. The Lord meets us where we're at, and then he leads us, sends us his Holy Spirit, strengthens us. And it reminds me of, you know, St. Anselm of Canterbury's words, Fides quirens intellectum, faith seeks understanding. The Lord instills that faith within us that compels us to be able to try to understand more. Right? So often we have it the other way around. We have it the reason that tries to find our faith. But that's not how the Holy Spirit works. He instills that gift of grace within us, that belief, faith, that enriches our lives and allows us to go forth and to learn more about who God calls us to be and how He calls us closer to Him. So we take that, we take that uh, example from the apostles today, Philip and James, and we ask for their intercession within our lives that we, may, we too may come into a deeper understanding of who Christ is in our lives. We now stand and offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord trusting in his merciful love that he will hear and answer our prayers. For the church, may God bless her shepherds with all the wisdom of their apostolic forebears. Let us pray to the Lord. For all our leaders, may God inspire them not to speak or act on their own, but to do God's will. Let us pray to the Lord. For those sick in mind or body, we pray for those with the coronavirus. May God console and provide for them. Let us pray to the Lord. For those gathered here, may the gospel we have received keep us firm in faith and good works. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray today for Paul Sciortino, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. For our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the light of Christ, may Jesus bring them safely into the Father's house. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Heavenly Father, you are the giver of every good and perfect gift. We ask you to hear and answer our prayers according to your will. We ask all this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast day of the Apostles Philip and James. And bestow on us religion pure and undefiled through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, And with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, 
profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Philip and St. James, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Now let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that contemplating you and your Son, together with the apostles, Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Have a blessed day, everyone.